welcome to Polish with Ray. I'm Rachel and today I'm going to be sharing with you some polishes that will be available for May's 2021 polish pickup. Before we get started, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, and if you're new, hey, go ahead and press that subscribe button. I upload new live swatching videos every week. So this month's polish pickup theme is Guilty Pleasures. The shop opens on May 7th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and will run through May 10th. I'm really excited about this month's theme because makers really have the opportunity to let their personality shine through. And we definitely see that with a ton of these polishes. The inspirations were hilarious. <laughs> If you're new to Polish Pickup, it's a monthly shop that opens on the first Friday of every month. Independent polish makers and, you know, body care makers will create a limited edition item that will only be available through Polish Pickup just in that weekend window. Some of the items up for purchase do have a cap. That means that the maker is making a limited stock of that item and once it sells out, it's gone. So if you see an item that has a cap and you really, really love it, I would make sure you shop on the 7th so that you don't miss it. Also, if this is your first time shopping Polish Pickup, I'm gonna leave some tips in the description box that will hopefully make your shopping experience a little bit more smooth. All right, I have over 30 items to share with you this month, so let's go ahead and get into the swatches. So I'll be swatching these in rainbow order today, starting off with Alter Ego's Get Your Red Hot Dog Here. This one's described as being a velvet red metallic, and it retails for $10, has a 100 bottle cap, and is inspired by people who claim to dislike hot dogs, but secretly enjoy them. I, by the way, am not one of those people. I love hot dogs. I said it. No shame in my game, <laughs> especially Costco's hot dogs. Oh my goodness, don't get me started. All right, so this polish is absolutely beautiful, totally looks like velvet, perfect for the holidays in my opinion, and the formula was really beautiful to work with. We got a ton of opacity in that first coat. I did need to build it up to two to get full opacity. It's slightly, very slightly orange leaning. Um, for the most part, I would say it's a true red, but it definitely leans more orange than it does blue. Because this one has a metallic finish, it does have the potential to have brush strokes. You can definitely see them there on application, but as this polish dries down, I found that most of the brush strokes disappeared completely, and as I had it on my nails, they weren't noticeable at all. Here's what it looks like on the full hand swatch, and you can kind of see, I feel like there's a little bit of orange shimmer in there. Just so beautiful. Pictured are two coats of Alter Ego. Get your red hot dog here with a glossy top coat. Alter Ego also brings us an acetone additive duo that retails for $7. There's a 30 bottle cap on this item and the scents are hot dog and bread. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. Those are the actual scents of these products. I seriously couldn't believe it when I opened them up. I laughed for a solid two minutes. Like I just, <laughs> I was in shock. <laughs> so the hot dog one smells like bologna, um, maybe like peppered bologna. And then the bread one smells straight up like a baguette. Um, I think I'm going to be incorporating these into an April Fool's prank. They're super novelty and fun. And I love, <laughs> I love that Alter Ego did this. It just it makes me smile. So funny. From MTK Design, we have Slasher Flick. This one's described as being a steel magnetic shimmer in a deep blood red jelly base filled with red holographic micro glitters, purple to pink aurora sparkle, and scattered with gold to copper to red multi-chrome flakes. It retails for $12 and there is no cap. So this one, of course, is inspired by those bloody horror movies that so many people seem to adore. Um, not me. <laughs> but it is a very pretty polish. On application, I was pleasantly surprised with just how smoothly this applied. It was very even, not at all streaky, and I got a good amount of that shimmer and those flakes there on the first coat. With magnetic polishes, regardless of how opaque they are, I pretty much always tend to go in with three coats just to make sure that when I magnetize, it doesn't pull the pigment away from my nail line. There you can see on the second coat, it starts to build up nicely. And we get pretty much full opacity on the second coat, but like I said, I did go in for three. I magnetized and held it there for about 30 seconds. And this was the result. As you can see, we've got a really pretty, kind of more subtle steel magnetic line running throughout, very unique. 
Here's what it looks like on the full hand swatch. Definitely has kind of a wine blood red base. I think it would be flattering on a lot of different skin tones. And here's what it looks like outdoors and outdoors you can really see those flakes shining through. Pictured are three coats of MTK Design Slasher Flick with a glossy top coat. Next from Stella Chroma, we've got Melinda Blinked. This one's described as being a deep red linear holographic. It retails for $13 and has no cap. And it's inspired by a podcast that the maker really enjoys. Oh my goodness, I love this polish. It is 100% a standout for me this month. The formula, the color, the holographic, everything. It's amazing. As you can see, this one was pretty much a one coater. After that first coat, I couldn't see any nail line. However, when I did go in for a second coat, it helped deepen that base just a little bit. If I was in a hurry though, I could totally get away with one coat of this one. It's that opaque. And I love that this one is so opaque with that deep base and it doesn't dull the hollow. You can still see it so, so beautifully. And of course, you know, I had to take it out into the sunlight so you could fully appreciate it. <laughs> Gosh, and when I thought this polish couldn't get any more beautiful, that linear and the sun and the vampy base, oh yes, I'm sold. <laughs> Pictured our two coats of Belinda Blinked by Stella Chroma with a glossy top coat. Stella Chroma also brings back their emulsified sugar scrub in the scent Champagne Pomegranate this month. This one retails for $6.50 and comes in a 2.5 ounce tub with no cap. The scent's described as being sweet and fruity but refreshing and I 100% agree with that description. It's very light and fruity and has just a tinge of tartness. Oh, I really enjoy this scent. And I'm so glad to get my hands on this scrub again. It's one of those scrubs that kind of foams up a little bit on application. And it has a lot of different moisturizing oils like sweet almond oil, apricot kernel oil, emulsifying ingredients like shea butter and cocoa butter that help moisturize as you exfoliate. I use this kind of scrub every week in my nail care routine. Leisha's Lacquer brings us Berry Wine Spritzers. This one's described as being a berry-based multi-chrome with pink to purple to bright blue shift and a touch of hollow. It retails for $12.50 and has no cap. Um, so totally agree with that description. The hollow kind of takes the back seat on this one. It's kind of just the icing on top of the cake and the shimmer really captures your attention. Love the contrast between the blue shimmer and that berry base. It's really beautiful and unique. At first glance, I thought this one was going to be really similar to the last polish I swatched, Belinda Blink from Stella Chroma, but at the end of this video, I'll show you what all of these polishes look like swatched side by side so you can see exactly how different they are because they are quite different. On application, this one had more of a jelly type formula. It was a little bit sheer on the first coat, but all that shimmer provided a good amount of coverage. I honestly feel that at my nail length, I could have left it at two, but I did end up going in for three coats just to make sure that that berry color was that deep, rich, beautiful shade we saw in the bottle. Here's what it looks like on the full hand swatch. It's just slightly, slightly softer than a red. I almost feel like I could have swatched this one in the pinks because it kind of leans a little bit pink, um, but it's just beautiful. And here's what it looks like outdoors. I was surprised at how beautiful that holographic looked like outside. And there you can see the shimmer kind of shifting from blue to purple to pink. Pictured are three coats of Berry Wine Spritzers from Leisha's Lacquer with a glossy top coat. From Pepper Pot Polish, we've got Mac and Cheese. This one's described as being a vibrant neon -y yellow orange with orange aurora and gold glitter in mixed sizes. This polish retails for $11 and has no cap and is inspired by queso in a can. And the maker's name is Mackenzie, so Mac and Cheese. <laughs> um, but this was a really unique color. I couldn't believe I don't have one like it in my collection. It really is like a macaroni and cheese Crayola crayon turned up a notch, a little bit neon, and 
the color is beautiful, the gold glitters are gorgeous, and then that subtle aurora and gold shimmer is just beautiful too. Application on this one was incredibly smooth and easy to work with. You can see just how even the formula is. It was quite sheer though because it's a jelly polish and it's such a light color. I found that even in three coats, I was able to see a little bit of nail line in my bright studio lighting. However, when I took it into regular lighting, because the color is so vibrant, I really I didn't notice my nail line. Um, I think this one would be an excellent candidate for a blurring base coat. But yeah, this is a really, really fun, unique color. I can't believe I literally had nothing like it in my collection. Here's what it looks like on the full hand swatch. And I love those gold glitters. They just add a little bit of extra fun. Pictured our three coats of Mac and Cheese by Pepper Pot Polish with a glossy top coat. People, we have a ton of yellow polishes this month. I am hyped. I love yellow polishes. <laughs> so we're going to start off with Swamp Gloss Dorothy. This one's described as being a yellow jelly packed with red to gold Aurora and orange to green to blue iridescent flakes. It retails for $13 and has a 300 bottle cap and is inspired by the movie Twister. That totally gives me like flashbacks to my childhood. I used to watch that movie all the time with my parents. This shade of yellow is stunning. It's so pretty and flattering, and I love the flakes inside too. Oh man, this one was another standout this month for sure. True to its description, this one did definitely have a jelly type base. It was very sheer on that first coat, and I was a little concerned that it was gonna be really sheer when building it up, um, even in three coats. But as you can see on the second coat, we get a nice development of color, and it starts becoming like this beautiful lemon school bus primary yellow. It's bright and fun. And then on the third coat, I got opacity I was happy with, could I see a little bit of nail line? Yeah, but there were so many flakies packed in there and the color was so bright, it truly was not noticeable in regular everyday lighting. Look at those flakes. They're something else. They're really pretty. And you get to see a kind of like the pond effect with the different layers where the base is so sheer. It's stunning. Here's what it looks like outdoors kind of around sundown. Yeah, I really like this yellow. Pictured our three coats of Dorothy from Swamp Gloss with a glossy top coat. This month, Rogue Lacquer brings us Fair Fries. It's described as being a mustard yellow linear holographic with fiery shimmer and micro holographic flakes. It retails for $13 and has no cap and is, of course, inspired by delicious French fries you can buy at the fair. Oh my goodness, some of these inspirations are making me really hungry, you guys. <laughs> Oh, so I absolutely love that fiery, coppery, orange shimmer in there. It really sets this holographic apart and gives it something extra special. And again, I was completely blown away by the opacity of this one. It was so smooth, very easy to work with and buttery and almost completely opaque in that first coat. I went in for a second coat because I could see just a little bit of nail line under the bright lighting and that really helped give me even more beautiful shimmer payoff. And with that fiery shimmer, I feel like the yellow base is slightly green leaning. It's a really unique color. Here on the full hand swatch, you can see just what an attention getting shade this is. It's so vibrant and happy and perfect for summer. Um, and I can't wait to show you that hollow outside. Here it is. Oh my word. So beautiful. Pictured are two coats of Rogue Lacquer Fair Fries with a glossy top coat. And the last stunning yellow I have to share with you this month is from Colores de Carol. It's spiky, but sweet. It's described as being a super hollow chartreuse yellow with iridescent flakes, hollow micro flakies, and aurora shimmer. It retails for $12.50 and has no cap. And the inspiration for this one is super fun. It's pineapple crush soda. So this one just got so many gorgeous components. The chartreuse yellow base, the gorgeous flakes, 
the hollow micro flakes, the aurora shimmer. There's a lot going on in here and it's all beautiful. <laughs> I think this one's gonna be a really popular choice this month. On application, again, amazing opacity. It's a little bit more sheer than I was expecting, but that really helps the flakes stay visible and that gorgeous hollow shine through. In two coats, I felt like this one built up really nicely, but I did go in for a third just to make sure that nail line was completely blurred. And here's what it looks like in three coats. And look at all those flakes. It looks like pure gold. So beautiful. And you can definitely see at certain angles some of that green in here. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah, this one's going to be popular this month. I'm grateful it has no cap because I think a lot of people are going to be happy they picked it up. And here's what it looks like outdoors. Just so, so pretty. I'm loving all the hollows we have this month. Pictured our three coats of Caloristic Carol Spiky But Sweet with a glossy top coat. From Lollipop Posse Lacquer, we've got $7.99 is absolutely fine. This one's described as being a sheer, buildable, gray curly base, tinted green, and filled with vibrant green to blue to indigo, shifting Aurora Shimmer. It retails for $13, has no cap, and is inspired by cheap Sauvignon Blanc, which is pretty funny. <laughs> so I believe this is the last polish we're going to see for PPU from Lollipop Posse Lacquer. Don't worry, they're not going away, but they are undergoing a rebranding, so I think the next Time we see them it'll be as a new brand which is pretty exciting as the description states this one is quite sheer um, on that first coat we can see a lot of nail line and even built up in three i could still see a lot of my visible nail line this might be a great candidate for a blurring base coat but honestly the shimmer provides a good amount of coverage so to me in most lightings it's not super noticeable so in bright lighting, as you see here, the green is what you notice most, but as you move your hand around, especially in outdoor lighting, which I'll show you what that looks like, you can see a lot of the blue and indigo as well. It's really pretty. So here's what it looks like outdoors, just glowy and subtle and beautiful. Pictured our three coats of $7.99 is absolutely fine by Lollipop Posse Lacquer. From Linby Designs, we have Surreal Estate. This one's described as being a green to blue to purple, shifting magnetic multi-chrome with green to blue to purple to pink, shifting UCC and hollow flakes. It retails for $13, has a 300 bottle cap, and is inspired by stalking houses on Zillow. <laughs> um, so this one is a gorgeous kind of mysterious deep green, and I love anything with UCC flakes. So of course those were gorgeous to see as well. With the magnetic pigment, in this I just felt like this polish was very complex and had a lot going on on application this one was more sheer than I was expecting but we do get a ton of those really beautiful UCC flakes on application on the second coat we get a better buildup of color and we can see the beautiful emerald starting to show and then I always take my magnetics to three, like I said, to make sure that I don't pull too much pigment and make it really sheer when I magnetize. So I applied the magnet, held it for 30 seconds, and this was the result. We have a gorgeous, like slightly lighter green magnetic line running through. So pretty. I loved moving my hand around with this one and just seeing the line move. It was really cool. So here's what it looks like in some brighter lighting and you can see those UCC flakes just shifting along with that magnetic line. Such an interesting combination. Pictured our three coats of Surreal Estate by Linby Designs with a glossy top coat. Next, Bees Knees Lacquer brings us Awakened. This one's described as being a soft sky blue with shimmer that shifts white gold to gold to emerald to blue at extreme angles. It retails for $13, has no cap, and is inspired by the novel Lover Awakened, which I haven't read, but maybe I should check it out. Um, so 
gorgeous soft base this one's perfect for the season we're going through transitioning from spring to summer and i love the contrast between that soft blue base and that punchy gold green shimmer it's beautiful Because this one was so sheer, I wanted to try swatching it three ways on its own, over a blurring base coat and over black. So both on its own and on the blurring base coat, I wore it in three coats and then one coat over black. On its own, even in three coats, it's gonna be very sheer. You're gonna be able to see quite a bit of nail line. I prefer it to wear it in three coats over a blurring base. You get to see all of that incredibly gorgeous shimmer, um, but you don't get any visible nail line. Some people love visible nail line, so it really just boils up to what you personally prefer. So going on with that third coat, you can see we've got a gorgeous blue base and really bold shimmer, um, but still quite a lot of visible nail line. And then on the center finger, we don't see any nail line. Here's what it looks like over black. Whoa, it looks really cool over black. I'm so excited I decided to swatch it this way because I was really digging how it turned out. So here's what it looks like on its own in three coats with a blurring base coat in three coats and over black. And you get a lot of that gold green shimmer, really pretty. Here's what it looks like swatched in three coats over a blurring base coat on a full hand swatch. And you can see that blue, the gold, the green, it's really soft and beautiful. And then here's what it looks like in some lower outdoor lighting. And you just get a ton of that shimmer. This is my favorite way to view it is under um, some natural lower lighting. Pictured are three coats of Bees Knees Lacquer Awakened with a glossy top coat. Bees Knees Lacquer also brings us an indie pickup item this month. This is boo! <laughs> it's described as being a ghost flaky topper with red to green and gold to green ghost flakes. It retails for $14 and has no cap, and it's inspired by bad horror movies, which is so hilarious, and I love. It's got ghost flakies, and it's called boo, just all together very hats off. <laughs> love all the, the hidden puns in there. So this is a gorgeous ghost flaky topper. I love ghost flakes. They're cool because you can see them at certain angles, but as you move your hand around, they disappear. So you can see on the sides of the bottle there, they're not super noticeable, but when they hit the light, you see all of that gorgeous warm toned red, green, gold flaky action. So I'm swatching it three ways here over gray on my pointer finger, on the center finger over black, and then um, on my ring finger over a sheer white polish. It's gorgeous all three ways. I'll show you what they look like up close. So here's what it looks like over the gray. Here's what it looks like over the black. And here's what it looks like over the sheer white. Very iridescent effect. And my favorite way to wear it is over like rich, bold, jewel tone colors, um, like this red here, so pretty. You can see in the light, that green, gold, red flaky is visible, but on the sides of the nail, you can't see anything. They disappear like ghosts. <laughs> um, so here's what it looks like outdoors, even more stunning. These kind of toppers where they don't change the base color, they just kind of enhance it, are my favorite. So I'm really excited to get more use out of this topper. Pictured is one coat of Bees Knees Lacquer, boo, with a glossy top coat. This month, Night Owl Lacquer brings us Lazy Days. It's described as being a black and violet tinted base with pink to gold to green shimmer. It retails for $13, has no cap, and is inspired by, well, Lazy Days. <laughs> um, so I was super surprised to see that the description did not include that this was a multi-chrome. I thought that this was a multi-chrome when it was on in the bottle, when it was on my nails, it totally read like a pastel multi-chrome to me, but it says it's just a, um, gorgeous, vibrant shimmer. So take that for what it is. For a color this light, I was surprised with how opaque it was on that first coat. Um, the shimmer, there's so much in there that it does provide some blurring of the nail line. I found that for me, it was completely opaque in two coats, but if you've got nails that are longer than mine, you might need three for this one.
So this one looks really pretty in bright lighting, but where it really shines is in the lower lighting. So here's a full hand swatch in lower lighting, and you can see that beautiful shift to the green, the pink, the gold. Oh, it's pretty. And then here's what it looks like in bright lighting, and you can see it just shifting, shifting, shifting. So pretty. Pictured are two coats of Lazy Days by Night Owl Lacquer with a glossy top coat. This month, KB Shimmer's polished contribution is Everything is a Bouquet. This one's described as being a deep grape purple jelly polish with strong green to blue shimmer that shifts indigo to green to gold to blue. It retails for $11, has no cap, and is inspired by freshly cut flowers. This one was an absolute joy to work with. It really applied so smoothly and evenly. The shimmer was gorgeous. It was richly pigmented, so we got a lot of opacity in that first coat. When I went in for the second coat, it added some depth to the color, of course added even more shimmer, and I got full opacity. Here's what it looks like on the full hand swatch and you can kind of see that beautiful grape purple on the sides and tons of that indigo blue green shimmer. It's so pretty. Here's what it looks like outdoors in lower lighting and you can see a lot of the purple and green. Pictured are two coats of KB Shimmer. Everything is a bouquet with a glossy top coat. KB Shimmer is back with their sugar scrub this month and the scent freshly blended. This tub retails for $10, has no cap, and is inspired by blended beverages. The scent description is a sweet medley of berries, cantaloupe, lychee, sugarcane, vanilla, and orchid. And I will say as I smell it, what stands out to me the most is that cantaloupe smell. It smells like sweet melon. Um, so if you haven't used a sugar scrub before, I love using them as part of my nail care routine. After I push back my cuticles, it just helps exfoliate some of that extra skin. And these are really great too um, before shaving in the shower. It's got really moisturizing oils like olive oil and castor seed oil, some emollients as well like cocoa seed butter and shea butter that help leave your skin feeling moisturized instead of dried out. And of course it has that beautiful biodegradable glitter on top, which just makes it extra lovely. Um, I will say for almost a 10 ounce tub, $10, $1 per ounce of the scrub. This is one of the most reasonably priced scrubs you can purchase. So definitely recommend if you like cantaloupe kind of scents. Glisten and Glow brings us a really interesting polish this month. This is Purple Rose. It's described as being a vibrant purple mega linear holographic with intense rainbow and blue flame. And that's what it looks like, what you see in the bottle when it doesn't have top coat or when you use a water-based top coat. And if you add a quick dry top coat or the Glisten and Glow glitter grabber, it makes it into a vibrant blue indigo. This polish retails for $12.50 and has no cap and it's a inspiration close to the maker's heart. It was her grandmother's favorite flower, purple roses. Um, so this polish, like I said, so interesting, but let's talk about the formula. Uh-huh. Yep, makers knocked it out with the formula this month. I love it. So many gorgeous opaque hollows. This one was completely opaque for me in one coat, but I did add two to plump it out a little bit. And you can see without top coat, it's this bright, vibrant, but definitely purple linear holographic. Then I went on with the Glisten and Glow top coat, their quick dry top coat, and you can see it deepen in color. Here's what it looks like when it's dried. So different. Really cool, you get kind of two different polishes um, and one here. So here's what it looks like on the full hand swatch with the glossy top coat, and it's so vibrant and saturated and indigo. Ooh, it is really, pretty and attention grabbing. My goodness, I was like hypnotized. Here's what it looks like without a top coat or with you know what it would look like with a water-based top coat in the sun, really pretty as well. Pictured are two coats of Glisten and Glow Purple Rose without top coat and with top coat.
This month for the IPU shop, Glisten and Glow brings us their Glitter Grabber. It retails for $8 and has no cap. So if you love glitter polishes and you haven't used this, it's a game changer. I already had a bottle of this I was working on before they even sent it to me. Um, so I'm excited to share with you a product that I'm so passionate about. What you use it for is if you have a glitter dense polish or a flaky dense polish, like a glitter bomb or even a Crelly, this product smooths it out completely, giving you a very smooth, glossy finish. It changes the game. Um, also wanna put in that it's five free and it doesn't provide shine. So here's a glitter bomb that I absolutely love. You can see it's textured and does not have a pretty shiny finish on it at all. That I'm going on with the glitter grabber. And it just smooths it out so beautifully. So I was doubtful at first if this would really be more effective than a couple layers of top coat. But I find that even with a few layers of top coat, I still get some texture and you don't get that glossy shine. This is so awesome. I love this product. It doesn't provide shine on its own though. If you let it dry completely, you are supposed to layer a glossy top coat or matte top coat on top of it to finish off the look. This month from MLF Lacquer, we have TTV. This one's described as having a blurple base with blue to purple shimmer and aqua to purple to pink color shifting iridescent flakes. It retails for $11, has a 200 bottle cap and is inspired by Twitch TV. <laughs> On application, this one definitely had a more jelly type base, but tons, tons of those iridescent flakies came out. Make sure for this one you go in thin on your coats because if you don't, you risk them bunching up a little bit um, and not laying down completely flat. I got full opacity with this one in two coats and I keep looking at it and trying to figure out, is it a blue? Is it a purple? I don't know, I keep changing my mind. So I definitely agree with their description that it's truly a blurple. <laughs> Here's what it looks like outdoors and you can just see those flakes and vibrant base just look so beautiful together. Pictured are two coats of TTV by MLF Lacquer with a glossy top coat. Next from Bluebird Lacquer, we have two peas in a podcast. This one's described as being a dark purple to magenta to pink shifting multi-chrome holographic. It retails for $12 and has no cap, and it's inspired by one of the makers and my favorite podcast, Crime Junkies. If you like your crime and you haven't heard Crime Junkies, you got to check it out. Ashley and Britt are amazing. <laughs> um, but back to this polish. It was pretty opaque in that first coat. There's a lot of shimmer in here, you guys, and a lot of hollow too. On two coats, it built up nicely, but I wanted that rich, beautiful purple we see in the bottle, so I did go in for three and reached full opacity. The formula was very smooth and easy to work with, and the shimmer in here is stunning. Here's what it looks like on the full hand swatch, and watch how it shifts. Ooh, so pretty. It says it's purple to pink to magenta, but I swear I see some blue in there as well. It's really interesting. And here's what it looks like in the sunlight, and you can see it shifting from the purple to the blue or dark purple. Oh, so beautiful, and the hollow is just lovely. Pictured are three coats of two peas in a podcast by Bluebird Lacquer. Bluebird Lacquer also brings us their No More Uglicles Cuticle Balm in the set, wait for it, Water Malone. <laughs> and this is inspired by the maker's love for Post Malone, which is just hilarious. Um, so the scent of this is sweet and tangy, watermelon. It really does smell like watermelon candy, and it's got all sorts of nourishing ingredients like shea butter, coconut oil, aloe butter, avocado butter, and jojoba oil. Um, it's interesting because it's solid in the jar, but as soon as you get it on the skin, it just melts right in. It it feels super nourishing and I'm excited to get to use it more. With the heavier oils it has in it, like coconut oil, I think this would be perfect right before bed. Up next is another favorite from this month. This is Cupcake Polish The Biles. It's described as being a super vibrant, hot pink linear holographic. It retails for $13 and has no cap and is inspired by Simone Biles. And I'll say love, love women's gymnastics. Not sure if I would consider it a guilty pleasure, but regardless, it is a pleasure to watch. <laughs> 
On application, we have another crazy, amazing formula. Makers, what are you doing to us? <laughs> um, if you're trying to narrow down your options this month, good luck, because oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, pretty much a one coder. I went in with two again just to plump it out, but if I was in a rush, one coat would be just fine with me. Um, bright, vibrant, summery, fun color, perfectly seasonal. And as a pink lover, this one just spoke to me. I'm obsessed, especially when you take it out in the sunlight. It's just such a gorgeous blue tone linear hollow. And then it just shines in the sun, just shines. Oh, check it out. So, so pretty. Yeah, going right to my summer rack, this one. Pictured our two coats of cupcake polish, the Biles with a glossy top coat. And then Cupcake Polish also brings us an IPU item. This is Fabio Flush. It's described as being a topper filled with black to purple to red to gold multi-chrome shimmer and red to gold iridescent shimmer. It, retail, it retails for $10.50 and has no cap. And it's inspired by cheesy romance novels that make us blush. So at first I was a little bit perplexed by this topper because it really does have a blackened base and I did not like how it looked over white. Um, I saw some swatch photos of it on its own, so I did decide to layer it over a blurring base coat as well as over black. So I initially planned to use it as a topper and just put it in one coat over the blurring base, but I really didn't like how that looked. You can see a lot of the blurring base showing through. And it just looks kind of patchy. Um, I built it up on two coats and still wasn't entirely happy with it, even though the shimmer is just stunning. So I did go in for three coats, kind of like a regular polish, and I liked how it looked in three coats over the blurring base. You can see that blackened on the sides, and then you can see the bright, pink multi-chrome shimmer shining through. I loved how it looked over dark, darker colors. So that would be my suggested way to wear this one over anything dark, a black, a navy, or even a rich berry. And that was my favorite way to wear this. So here's what it looks like over the black and over the blurring base coat. Here's what they look like up close. And you can see some of that shiftiness, the gold, really pretty. And here's what it looks like on its own. As you can see, it dries down kind of flat, so you'll want a top coat for this one. So here was my favorite way to wear it. And guys, I can't get enough of it. It's over like a rich berry pink red. Um, and you can see all of the gorgeous pink, purple, red, gold shimmer. Oh, it's beautiful. Here's what it looks like outdoors over that pinky red. Really pretty. Yeah, I love this one with the with the pinky red. That's absolutely how I'm gonna wear it in the future. Pictured are two coats of Fabio Flush from Cupcake Polish with a glossy top coat. This month, Fair Maiden Polish brings us Sugar High. Sorry if it's stuck in your head now. <laughs> So it's described as being a warm toned, bright pink with copper to rose shimmer and gold to pink to violet shifting iridescent flakes. It retails for $11 and there is no cap and it's inspired by Sour Patch Watermelon Candy. Totally an inspiration I can get behind. If I had a guilty pleasure, if I had to choose one, it would be Sour Candy. I love Sour Candy. Um, and this is totally a gorgeous, bright watermelon shade, perfect for summer. On application, this one definitely has a jelly formula. It was pretty sheer on that first coat, but very even and easy to apply. On that second coat, we got even better coverage. The color started being more vibrant. And then on the third coat, it was fully opaque and had a super squishy finish. This one is filled with flakes. So again, I would recommend going in for thin coats. Here's what it looks like on the full hand swatch. And I don't usually like these kind of corally peachy pinks, um, but this one is really pretty and fun. And here's what it looks like outdoors. Pictured our three coats of Sugar High by Fair Maiden Polish with a glossy top coat. 
Next is another standout for me this month. This is Different Dimension. I'm with the band. It's described as being a rose pink jelly polish loaded with gold to green color shifting iridescent pigment and holographic micro flakies. This polish retails for $12 and there is no cap. So right away in the bottle, I knew I was going to be obsessed with this one. I love these flaky polishes from Different Dimension. I'm wearing um, Antisocial Butterfly from a few months ago right now and this reminds me a lot of that polish. So if you like that one and you like the colors of this one, you will really enjoy it. It's got that strong, beautiful shifting shimmer. So on application, this one does have a jelly formula, so it's a bit sheer, but there's so much shimmer in here that it blurs the nail line a ton. In fact, I got full opacity, which really shocked me in just two coats. Oh my goodness, the shimmer is so strong. This one really glows on the nails and I love the contrast between the kind of nude leaning base and the bright shimmer. This one is fun. And here's what it looks like outdoors. The holographic just takes it to the next level. <laughs> I love this polish. And I had to feature it too in lower outdoor lighting so you could really appreciate that shifting shimmer going from gold to green. Pictured are two coats of Different Dimension. I'm with the band with a glossy top coat. Different Dimension also brings us a cuticle oil pen duo this month. These are inspired by tropical drinks and they retail for $7 with no cap. So we've got two scents here, Pina Colada and Strawberry. The scent description for Pina Colada describes it as smelling like tropical combo of pineapple and coconut. It's definitely my favorite of the two, but both of these scents are pretty intense. So keep that in mind if you're sensitive to that. The strawberry daiquiri scent is described as smelling like a blend of strawberries and lemon zest with a hint of fresh vanilla. And this one definitely reminds me of some delicious strawberry syrup. This month from Wildflower Lacquer, we have I Beg Your Pardon. <laughs> This one's described as being a peach base with strong pinky red to gold to green shifting shimmer. It retails for $12.85 and has no cap and is inspired by legend Dolly Parton. Um, did not expect to like this polish. I'm going to be entirely honest. Peachy pinks are not my favorite, but this one is really pretty. If you've got a medium skin tone close to mine, then I think it will pull slightly nude on you, which is really, really beautiful. On application, it's really smooth and easy to work with. Quite sheer on that first coat so we can see that beautiful shimmer. I ended up building this one to three coats to get full opacity and loved how it turned out. In bright lighting, you really see that shimmer as being pink, but as you move your hand around and take it into some different lightings, you get to see the gold and the green as well. So here's what it looks like in some brighter lighting, and you can see some of that shifting shimmer, the gold on the sides there, really pretty, and I think a super flattering base. Pictured are three coats of Wildflower Lacquer, I beg your pardon, with a glossy top coat. For the IPU shop, Unicorn Magic Skincare is bringing us their Deluxe Lip Balm in Gummy Worm. So the scent description for this one reads that it smells like chewy gummy candy bursting with sweet fruity goodness. Love all the gummy inspiration this month. Uh, so the scent for this one is nice and sweet, but not too sweet. A little bit tart, but not too tart. It's definitely a more mild scent. So if you're sensitive to strong smells, I think you'll really appreciate this one. In terms of formula, I always gravitate away from these more stick style lip balms and always do the squeeze tube lip balms, the more liquidy formulas because I feel like they're more moisturizing, but this one was surprisingly moisturizing. Um, and I'm not too surprised about that. It does have a lot of moisturizing ingredients like coconut oil, some emollient ingredients too, like shea butter, cocoa butter. It's got lanolin, jojoba oil, castor oil, and vitamin E. So this one I'd highly recommend. I really was impressed with this product. 
and it does retail for $4.75 and has a 300 tube cap. Next is another one that I think is going to be super popular this month. It's from Nailed It and it's called There's an App for That. This one's described as being a light gray base with strong pink to gold shifting shimmer and a touch of holographic flakes. It retails for $13 and has a 280 bottle cap. So if you want to snag this one, make sure you are ready to go when the shop opens. It's inspired by naps. <laughs> um, so not typically drawn to gray polishes, only if they've got something special this one is special the subtle hollow mixed with the bright beautiful shimmer oh I really really was digging this polish on application super smooth and creamy very easy to work with definitely has more of a cream type base um, and was almost opaque in one coat when I went in for the second coat I did get full opacity and tons of that incredibly beautiful shimmer Oh, so pretty. I love seeing it shift from that pink to the gold. So here's what it looks like on the full hand. Oh my word. Yes, that shimmer is something else. It's so full, beautiful. And here's what it looks like in lower natural lighting. Oh my goodness, it almost shifts the base color of the polish. So pretty. Pictured are two coats of There's a Nap for That by Nailed It with a glossy top coat. All right, we're down to the last couple polishes here. Again, make sure you stick around till the end because I'm gonna show all the polishes swatched side by side outdoors. So this is Super Moon Lacquers, Don't Make Me Love You. It's described as being a hollow gray base filled with blue to purple and turquoise to pink color shifting shimmer, blue shimmer, copper, gold, and red sparks, rainbow pearl, snow white micro flakies, and hollow and iridescent glitter. Whew, a lot of stuff packed in there. <laughs> this polish retails for $13, has no cap, and it is inspired by Chung Ka. I hope I'm saying that right, um, which is a K-pop star. So this polish really blew me away with its opacity. It is absolutely a one coater. I know some people are very serious about always doing two coats, so I did apply a second coat just so you could see what it looked like. It really didn't change the color, but it did plump it out just a little bit. So most of what you're seeing is a creamy type smoke gray base. Um, it has some blue undertones to it. And then of course the blue shimmer in there helps bring those out. Here's what it looks like on the full hand swatch and you can see it's really smoky and the shimmer is more on the subtle side. And here's what it looks like in some natural lighting very, very beautiful, and I just love the formula. Pictured are two coats of Don't Make Me Love You by Super Moon Lacquer with a glossy top coat. And the final polish I have to share with you today is from Cuticula, and it's complicated. Come on now, can't not sing that. <laughs> it's described as being a black jelly base with pink to green to gold shifting iridescent flakes, red metallic flakes, and a sprinkling of silver hollow flakes and galaxy glitters. It retails for $12.50 and has no cap and is inspired by Avril Lagvine, of course. <laughs> And because of all of those warm toned flakies in there, I feel like when this one's built up, the jelly, it's called a black jelly and I'm sure that's what it is, but it almost has like a brownish appearance. Um, but either way, it's just gorgeous. Definitely agree it's a jelly formula. Quite cheer on that first coat, builds up really nicely in two. If you've got shorter nails, I think two will be just fine for you. But if you've got my nail length or longer, you'll want three coats for this one. We get a really nice variety of different sized flakies. There are small ones, medium ones, and even really big ones on there, which are so cool. Here's what it looks like in outdoor lighting. Really beautiful. Under the sun, you can see those holographic flakes and those gal galaxy glitters. And then where this polish really shines is under low lighting. So here it is outdoors in some natural light and it reminds me of fall leaves. It's spectacular. Pictured are three coats of complicated with a ticula with a glossy top coat and a matte top coat. So here they are all swatched side by side. We're gonna start with the reds through the yellows. I was so happy to see so many beautiful warm tones this month. 
So from left to right, we've got the alter ego, MTK design. That deep red hollow is Stella Chroma. The lighter one beside it is Leisha's Lacquer. The glitter is Pepper Pot Polish. That yellow flaky is Swamp Gloss. Beside that, we've got Rogue Lacquer. And then on the end, Caloris de Carol. Moving on to the greens, blues, and purples from left to right, we have Lollipop Posse Lacquer, Lynn B Designs, that one with the gold flashes Bees Knees Lacquer, the first purple is Night Owl Lacquer, then we've got KB Shimmer, those two hollows are both Glisten and Glow on the left without top coat on the right with, that blue blurple flaky is MLF, and then at the end we've got Bluebird Lacquer. And finishing off with our pinks and neutrals. From left to right, we have Wildflower Lacquer. That watermelon shade is Fair Maiden Polish. The Linear Hollow is Cupcake Polish. Beside that, we have Different Dimension. The Light Gray is Nailed It. The Dark Gray is Supermoon Lacquer. And there at the end, we have Cuticula. As usual, the brands are making it so difficult to decide which items to pick up this month. I love talking to you guys in the comments, so let me know which polishes stood out for you and if you'll be picking any of them up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!